Hello and welcome to the Ultimate Racing League, sponsored by upshiftstore.co.uk, digitalmotorsports.com and Pineapple Grips. So this is it, the final race of the season, round six from the Blue Moon Bay Speedway of the BTCC Replica Championship from the Ultimate Racing League. Possibly the best league in the world, in my opinion. So this is the grid then, reverse grid, firepower in uh, pole position Potsy second team silver third ginger fourth jay dyson fifth smurf in sixth lee whip in seventh james stephen eighth and lanch in ninth everyone's left their super softs till the last race of the season uh, and of the round so they're all there all wearing to go it should be fireworks out here folks let's watch this see how it goes So as I say, last race, they're going to be going for it, these boys. Uh, revs should be up now. Lights will be on and they're off and away we go. Terrible start. Typical start from the Shirocco, but Firepower then leads them off. Team Silva has lost all of the places. Goes right the way back in that Shirocco. Terrible starting that car, but he'll soon be up with the rest of them. Firepower, though, leads them off. Or takes them off, I should say. Gets around that turn one. Nicely. They've got a bit of a gap already, is firepower, so you know. If he can keep it there for just the 15 minutes, he'll be fine. But they're catching up already, I think. Lee has got into the slip of firepower now. Yeah, no, they caught him. It didn't quite happen, did it? Very difficult when you're out there, you've got no one to feed off. As I said before, and they're all relying on your slip. Lee's going to have it though, and he's up there. So Lee Whip takes up the lead then, the start of lap two already. So Lee going for it, see if he can get his second win of the evening. Oh, and firepower, good drive out there. I just tags the back of Lee, but that's okay, no problem. Firepower now, now he can get into Lee's slip, can't he? And use that for to his advantage. He'll be hoping anyway. And then James Stephen up into third place. Looking at firepower, attacking firepower, going up the inside of firepower and gets him. Second place for James Stevens then. So it's firepower down the third. Dyson fourth. A small little gateway, a little gap back to Jay Dyson and then the rest of the field all following in so Dyson Lanch Ginger Team Silver Smurf and Lanch up the inside of Jay Dyson gets in there and Lanch has had a better round than Jay Dyson here at uh, the Blue Moon Bay Speedway tonight so he's going to get some slightly better points than Jay Dyson anyway well races one and two don't know what's happening with this one obviously at the moment Jay Dyson attacking Lanch but Still feel, oh, he does get there, Dyson gets around the inside of Lanch. But it looks like uh, Joe Dyson is going to be the champion here for League 3. For season 13. Lanch. Attacking him though. Gets there, so Lanch back up to fourth and it's switching positions these two not going to make a lot of difference though in the championship point standings at the end of the day you know Lange has did everything he could really it was a valiant effort from the boy but didn't quite have enough in the end I think it really all boiled down to near the start of the season with the big BMW starts off the line and the others just couldn't live with him in the uh, early stages of the championship a bit different round here of course because it's a uh, different tracks entirely but when you're on these the sort of twisty stuff the road street circuits etc it's a different proposition smurf though while i'm waffling on goes up in the fourth gets past lanch so smurf he's not finished does he but lanch goes up high does he gets gets him does he lanch gets back to fourth place smurf just went up a bit high joe dyson sticks in behind smurf then in sixth place team silver making his way through into seventh there he is 
on eBay, Chiraco, the independent team. Again, we know what Team Silver's about. And uh, didn't have the best of starts to the season, came on strong at the end, but just had a bit of a slow start. I don't think the car helped really in terms of it being as slow off the line. Uh, but you know, getting better as the, the season went on, and but it's just a bit too late, too little, too late. Potsy and Ginger, eighth and ninth. But this battle rages on here with what four cars, and if Potsy and Ginger can get onto the back of them, it'll be another it'll be a six way battle for fourth all the way down to what ninth. So there you go, that's how close it is. Jay Dyson dropping all the way back down to seventh, two silver. Gets through as well. Does he? He does, so Team Silver to sixth. Jay Dyson back down to seventh. But I think he knows that he's going to have enough regardless. Doesn't need to do anything it's too silly. Champion elect Jay Dyson come into this group, into this league and into this racing and done really well. Car helped a little bit, taking nothing away from the talent of, uh, of the driver, but the car itself has been really good. This uh, championship. Back up top then, so I'll just have a quick look. And Lee, yeah, stretching away in front like he did in race one. Got a lovely little lead now. I don't think it's going to be caught, in my opinion, now with five or six minutes gone of this race. Unless he has a major hit off the wall, it slows him down. I think he's got victory two here tonight in the States. James Stevens, second, gets himself to second, actually. Lanch up to third then, so Lanch has pulled the pin a bit there, got himself up there, gets himself to second now. Lanch gets past James Stevens, so it was a little way behind him, actually. So. Whether James Stephen tagged the wall somewhere, so if something will call back up to him or because they were way out of his slip. But anyway, it is what it is. Lanch is there in fourth, third, sorry, Team Silver, fourth, so he's following him through. He's making his way up through the field, is Team Silver. Smurf has dropped back to fifth. It was. I think it was a bit higher than that, wasn't he, earlier? Firepower attacking now. Firepower getting himself up to sixth place, looking at fifth place off of Smurf. He's in a good position if he can, I don't think he's far enough up though. Not quite all he is, and Smurf goes wide or high, and uh, Firepower gets through. So Firepower then up to fifth, so he's slowly making his way through. Jay Dyson still in sixth. Ginger in eighth. We haven't seen a lot of Ginger here in race two, but he's having a little battle of his own with his teammate here in eighth, Potsy. Of the two GTRs almost doing a formation driving here at the back. I think they said to themselves, you know, it's over. We'll have our own little race at the back here. Bring the two team cars in together. And actually, there's a few of them going into pits here, so. Maybe it is that fuel time, is it? So yes, it is refueling. Didn't think we'd have to add that, but we have. So they've dropped in, so Potsy goes up the fifth. So Ginger's in, Smurf's in, Firepower's in, Jay Dyson's in. So excuse me, I didn't realise we were going to have to do stops here, but of course, it's flat out, isn't it? And uh, going to be using a lot more fuel here, these lot though. They haven't come in yet, have they? So let's see now, I would imagine. They will be, although Lee looks okay fuel-wise, could probably get another lap or two in, to be fair. He is going to stay out, is Lee? He does. James Stephen, Team Silver are in. Lance has stayed out as well. Yeah, these two have uh, done well with the fuel at the moment. Tires don't look so bad either, so actually... Let's see get yourselves a nice big gap here and they've uh, could have this one wrapped up James Stephen Potsy Team Silver still in the uh, still in the pits let's go to Firepower see if he can make up a place or two with those sitting in there it's in sixth at the moment 
and it should be coming out in front of him and I don't think he's going to gain any more spots I don't think although well yeah he has actually gets himself to fourth then so yeah he's gone up to fourth place as firepower Smurf to fifth James Stevens sixth Dyson seventh so these are all the ones that have come in refueled changed tyres Ginger and Potsy as well so now the leaders are in now, so let's go to Team Silver and see where he comes out because Lee and Lance are both in oh no Del no Del he's quite a way back although coming around the final bend now I reckon they'll be out before he gets to them just coming out now so it's going to be tight but no I think he's going to remain in third place his Team Silver he does so the two leaders come out in front just Lance has taken up the lead though, so he did gain a spot on Lee in the pits. So, that was a good bit of strategy. Maybe didn't put enough, uh, didn't put as much fuel in as Lee got himself out. He's got half a tank of fuel as Lance. He obviously feels that's enough to see him through for the final five minutes of this race. Lee, yeah, he's put a bit more fuel in, hasn't he? So maybe too much. So that's why he was sitting in the pits just with that extra bit of fuel in that's allowed Lance to get in take up that lead so Lance could be here for victory in race 3 so start lap 12 Team Silver then 3rd place where we know he's, he's all and everyone's been in now so could be getting himself on the podium Team Silver firepower looking good in 4th That's thing stand. It's Team Silver of Firepower that will be the the other two promotion spots if he finishes like this. So they'll be heading themselves up to League Two. That'll give them a bit more experience in the uh, in the group. Nothing they can't handle, of course good experienced drivers so they'll fit in well and then coming down there'll be a couple coming down into League 3 being uh, relegated and we may even have some new drivers in there as well so you don't want to miss a thing trust me and a little battle going on between the two teammates actually it's they actually hit each other there so mm, not sure the team's going to be too happy with that James Stevens though in the fifth with Smurf behind him in sixth there was a bit of a bang there I think they both sort of tanked the wall but then they hit each other so not too sure that'd be in the briefing later on in the team briefing I dare say but it could have been a, an accident of course Dyson in seventh so again just getting himself in a kind of a lonely spot there Ginger and Potsy where they were really before the pits started Ginger in 8th, Potsy in ninth. so the two GTR still at the back there of the field. But I think you'll agree though everybody that it has been a great championship this one and uh, I've loved covering it I've got to say. Can't wait for the new season but we all need a bit of a rest and a break and then we'll be back. So let's go and take a look at the leader then. And actually, he's not the leader anymore, is he? Because Lee's got past him. So Lee did gain some momentum there, didn't he? So actually, whether Lange has had a bit of a moment somewhere to allow Lee, because he was quite a way ahead of Lee, actually, wasn't he? Lange looks hungry still, but doesn't realise there's any obvious damage to the car. So maybe he was just... Lee with better drive and got himself into the slip perhaps who knows but with a minute and a half left of this race Lee's looking to see if he can get a victory too tonight so maybe that little bit of extra fuel and strategy work for him but working at the moment for sure 
So Lee, Lanch, Team Silver, Firepower, and Firepower's getting onto the back of Team Silver. So now, is he into the slip range? Well, just about, I think he is, you know, here he is. So he could actually get himself on a podium here, Firepower. Could be a good result in the end here. Not had a particularly great evening, Firepower, by his own standards, but if he can get himself up here on the podium, that'd be a terrific evening's work. We're the attacking Team Silver now, goes on the low line, does Firepower. Can you get in? Not quite there. As we go into the last 30 seconds of this final race of the season. So we're going to get another lap in these boys and Firepower. Has he got there? He has. So Firepower takes him for now. He's there in third and he's on that inside line coming into turn one. So he's in prime position. Well, no, he's got back down to fourth now. Team Silver has got that place back again and no, switched it. Oh, and Firepower attacking again. What a great battle is for these these between these two. James Stevens with a front row seat there, just watching on behind. But Team Silver might just hold on here. Fuel gauge is flashing. So it's just as well we're on the final lap, isn't it? Let's go back to the leaders though as they come round that final bend. So congratulations, Lee. Race three winner. Two good victories here tonight for Lee. Well done. Lance is going to get a good second place, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I think it's going to be a runners-up spot there for, for Lance. Team Silver just holds off Firepower in fourth, James Stephen fifth, Smurfed in sixth, Dyson in seventh, Ginger in eighth, and then Potsy in ninth. So there you go then, there's your uh, season 13 complete. Uh, and uh, the final standings was Jay Dyson, is the champion with Lanch in second as runners up. Great battle between them two, wasn't it? And then the uh, automatic promotion places went to Team Silver and Firepower. So those two automatically go up as well. So that's it then, folks. Hope you enjoyed it this season. Join me again for next season. As I say, that will start off again on the 21st of November. Join me then. And uh, thanks for watching.